So I'm filming this on Wednesday, but I am not wearing pink. And there's nothing Miss Regina George can do about it. Come become a patron and join the Patreon community where you can get exclusive videos that will not be posted onto YouTube and unlock early access to my new podcast, Lost and Loud. Literally, unless you're living under a rock, you have heard of the new Mean Girls movie, the musical. I don't care what anybody has to say. I loved it. And I loved it so much that I want to be Regina George in bit life. So let's take a look at the criteria we have for our Regina George recreation. And I want to give a shout out to my patron, Melissa, for helping me come up with some of the criteria for it. And I really appreciated the help. So we have to be born a female in Evanston, Illinois. We're going to be named Regina George, have a hundred percent looks all the time. We have to make friends with Gretchen Wieners, Karen Smith, and Janice Ian all in middle school. And throughout times we can, and maybe once in a while, we do have to be rude to our friends. And any chance we get, we have to join the mean girls clique. We have to make Janice our enemy. We have to have a boyfriend named Aaron Samuels, then cheat on Aaron Samuels. Befriend somebody named Katie Heron, then... <laughs> we start to have a little beef with Katie. You know, just some innocent high school drama, boy drama, all that good stuff. And then the bars come in and then we have to go on a high calorie diet. We're going to join the dance club because they do that infamous Christmas dance. Make Katie our enemy. Insult our mother because she always has periods of time where she does that. And then end our diet sometime around there. You know, like when the mom kind of tells her that, um, hey. Well, in the first Mean Girls, it was like that football guy, but in the new Mean Girls, it was the mom. Then we have to get into a fight with Katie, kind of emulating the bus scene. And then we're gonna end it with just becoming friends with Katie, aka just being peaceful. So let's get started. I'm just having us be from Chicago. <laughs> to make it easier, okay? <laughs> oh my God, Regina George has a crime talent. Girl, she is the manipulative mastermind narcissist, but hey, that's just my opinion. Okay, select our appearance. Miss Regina George. I am a female who was adopted as a baby in Chicago. Okay, Miss Regina George is adopted. And my mother is a firefighter and my father, OJ, he was a real estate agent. So maybe he's the one that sold the house to Katie's parents. But we also have an older brother named Colin, but nobody really, cares. This is about Regina, baby. But as you can see, we were born with 100% looks and the goal of this video is to definitely try and maintain 100% looks the entire freaking time. We have officially started elementary school and of course it's private. But the important thing is middle school. Your mother is taking you to play in the park and is asking you what to wear. What will you choose? This is perfect for Regina. A Burberry princess dress. Your classmate Tara has been teasing you every day about your socioeconomic status. Regina's rich. So report her to the principal, but then do the whole like burn book thing where she's like, Okay, we're officially in middle school. So it is time. Oh my God, we're in private middle school too. That's crazy. It is time to go to our class. I also want to check who the mean girl is because I need to be friends with the mean girl in order to help me get accepted into the mean girl's clique. Maybe I can just join then. Hold on, let me insult somebody first. Insult the person we have a bad relationship with. Insult. We called her. She snitched on me. Apologize. I'm so sorry. My popularity didn't really go down that much. It is time to join the Mean Girls clique. Miss Regina George. Where is it? Mean Girls. Must engage in gossip and crave popularity to join this elite clique. Compliment their leader. She invited me. Thanks, girl. I'm a member of the Mean Girls. Can you join too? Like if I join popular kids? <gasps> no! No! Okay, we're going back in time and pretending that didn't happen. <laughs> and we're trying this again because <laughs> I fumbled the bag. Oh, Bonaventura is in the mean girls. Okay, we're gonna compliment her. We said she's a visionary and now we're gonna befriend her. Oh yeah, we're friends with her. Now we're gonna join. Elite female clique, compliment their leader. She invited me, so I got in twice. Now it is time to find our lovely friends, Gretchen and Karen and Janice, because the real drama doesn't really happen till high school. But I will make Bonaventura Gretchen, and now we just have to look for Miss Karen. Joy, we already have a good relationship with her. Awesome, and now a boy that's gonna be Aaron. Let's go with Mike, befriend him. Okay, so, oh, Janice as well, Beavis, Bevo. I'm on Bevo talk. Hillary, we'll make Hillary Janice. So Bonaventura, 
You are going to be Gretchen. Gretchen Wieners. You are going to be Karen Smith. Mr. Aaron Samuels. Janice Ian. And we're gonna change her hair to have black hair. There we go. We officially have Gretchen, Karen, Aaron, and Janice. We will have Katie soon. So now we have our friends, okay? But Gretchen, or formerly known as Bonaventura, is no longer gonna be the leader. So we're just gonna casually insult our friend. Hopefully she doesn't take it too much to heart. See, good. And poor Karen, bless her heart. <laughs> we called her a fatty. If that is not Mean Girls Coded, I don't know what is. Let's just see what happens, okay? Our parents wanna take us and our big brother on a family vacation. They're gonna complain, but go. Regina's gonna be like, ugh, why only New York? Now is the interesting part. As we know, there is a big blow up between Janice and Regina. Janice, we have to make our enemy. What better way than start a rumor about her like Regina actually did? We started a rumor that your friend Janice is incredibly turned on by bad breath. <laughs> Okay, Janice's father. We started a rumor that you heard your friend Janice's father saying that she was the biggest mistake of his life. That's not even a rumor. That needs therapy. That is evil. Hello, BitLife app. We called her Smelly. Okay, I think it's time now we make Janice our enemy. Okay, we're officially in high school. It's time to go look at our activities to see if there's dance club. There's not. Oh, okay. That was just in there to see because there's that like famous dance they do. Maybe we could do gymnastics. We don't have athleticism, so we'll just cut that out. But now is the time where we have to ask out Mr. Aaron Samuels. He has to become our boyfriend. We are not going out with him. Good. So he's our boyfriend. Regina is probably around junior year. They say she's 16 or 17. Here we just call 11th grade. <laughs> So we're going to cheat on Aaron Samuels and we're gonna wait till we're 17 to introduce Katie And then we're gonna not finish it in high school because we need to do the high calorie diet And you can't do that until you're 18. So we're gonna make it our own So the first thing I have to do though is join the mean girls clique. Nobody's stopping me compliment their leader Thank you. We're gonna spend time with our friends and by friends. I mean Gretchen and Karen. Aaron is our boyfriend. Gretchen wants to be best friends. Sure, that's fitting because Gretchen did think she was our best friend before Katie. It is time to take our driver's test. Good. And we passed, of course. We did. Okay, now just in case, we are going to try and find our girl, Katie. Oh my God, they're all still in my class. <laughs> Aaron Samuel's the boyfriend. Gretchen Wiener is the best friend. Janice Ian, the enemy. And Karen Smith, the friend. Okay. Okay, Electra could work. We have like a medium relationship with them. So it's kind of like Katie. She was neutral to Regina. And let's give her red hair. There we go. Katie Heron. Hi, bestie. Let's compliment her. Because remember, she's like, I love your bracelet. The biggest mistake Regina George ever made. And now it's time to cheat with our boyfriend. And flirt with him. You flexed. <laughs> You flexed while chatting with your classmates so he would notice your swole triceps. Sorry, triceps. Oh, he asked me out. Start going out with him. Aaron Samuels left. Poor Aaron. Poor guy. Poor guy. Now it's time to make Katie our enemy. We're gonna insult her. We said that... <laughs> It's always the father saying they're the biggest mistake. Why? And now we're making her our enemy. Sorry, girl. And I'm gonna age us up to when we're 18 now. Our boyfriend wants to take our virginity. No, bye. You're not Aaron Samuels. And in this meantime, okay, Regina also gets Aaron back. So we're gonna seduce him. We're going to start complimenting him. He didn't pick up the phone, that's fine. But you know what? We do have a rich mom. So we're gonna ask her for some money. Thank you for $66 that I can now spend on my boyfriend. Send him a gift, a drone, damn it. Okay, so Mr. Aaron Samuels, we have to hook up with him because Regina hooked up with him at the Halloween party. <laughs> you asked him to hurry up and come over. He said to rest up. Take him to bed. Make him use, make him use protection, okay? So now we're going to age. We've graduated. We're taking some time off. And this is where the true beef happens between Katie and Regina. She tricked us with those Calteen bars. So I'm going to ask my parents for money to make sure I have enough to afford the diet. But we are going to go. But we're going to go on the high calorie diet. Itchy bottom, period. No, we're taking time off. Our mommy and daddy are funding us. Now we have to really like mess around with Katie because we have to have like fights. So let's play a prank on her. <laughs> we placed a fake snake next to her phone. She called me a twit. Good to know. Start a rumor about her we made a rumor that she's addicted to mj <laughs> she started a rumor about me my father said it was the biggest mistake why is it always this one <laughs> recruiter in our cults we're going to age 
We're in debt. My best friend Gretchen tells me she's considering losing her virginity to Jason. He's a dirtbag girl. Okay, we're giving Regina a job as a movie theater cashier because we need money for our high calorie diet. It is time to insult our mother because Miss Regina always has fun doing that. We called her an ingrate. I don't know what that means. Time for Google. Ingrate. An ungrateful person. Good to know. As we know, Katie goes to that math competition and she wins. The limit does not exist. She comes back, a changed woman. And she splits that crown and she gives a little bit to every girl. So she and Regina make up. Now we have to make Katie our friend. She gave us a crown, but we have to give her some other things. Lululemon tights. Oh, she hated it. You know what actually works really well? And it's a free gift. It's the um, Cat Life tree toppers. Those actually, that's how I got Aaron to like us again. So the free gifts from Santa Sack actually really help. BitLife advent calendar that usually doesn't do. Dog life wreath. See, anything to do with BitLife works. Our bar with her is good enough. We're going to try and watch YouTube together. <gasps> Karen asked me if she should invest in crypto and we said yes. That's Karen coded. Katie does not want to be our friend again. Is it because she wants to be our best friend? No. Okay. We have depression because Katie rejected us. Mariah Carey Christmas album. <laughs> Come on. This will be friends again. Okay. What happens if I cheat? Um, crazy. Happy. No willpower, no smart. So like a zombie. Zombie Katie. Will you be our friend? Okay, even Miss Zombie Katie doesn't want to be our friend. I tried. Befriend Katie. In another world. As Sean Mendes said, we don't care what them people say. I finished that. If you guys want to try this challenge yourself, feel free. You got the criteria. Just take a screenshot of the screen and go live out your inner Regina George. Mm -hmm.